right now, as things stand, who do you think is Melly's biggest competition? Is it Susan Ross? Is it this new hot Democratic guy, Vargas? What is it? You know, the greatest thing is you haven't even scratched the surface yet. There's so much more to come. Our writers are having such a great time exploring our primary at the same time that a real primary is happening. So I think you'll see you'll see a lot more interesting candidates okay. emerge, even this week. You know, between Melly Grant and Susan Ross, you have two very, very different people yeah. uh, fighting for different things, having a different platform, but it's yeah. really interesting that they're both women and, and both very viable candidates. Yeah. Who would you say is Melly's toughest competition right now? Personal opinion. Um, Vargas. Well, no, no, I mean, Susan Ross, I don't know. It really, it really depends. I mean, Vargas is very tough as a Democrat um, and a war hero and all that, but so underestimate Susan Ross. She's, she's, She's my candidate. But, you know. If I had to put my money on it, I would say, I don't know. When in doubt, I'm gonna say Melly. But that, but there, but there's no. That's not an informed guess. That's okay. just, that's just a pick between the two. Yeah. Uh, because I think it's gonna be tough. You know, in each of those candidates, in each of those characters, you can kind of see a lot of uh, of principles that people can kind of relate to. So it really kind of goes back to your personal life, your experience in terms of how you see the world, which is going to impact who you relate to most. Well, you know, we're sort of starting out like the real world, so it's, it's kind of a scramble at the moment. Um, if you sort of look at the st statistics, Susan has the president on her, on her side, so that's a big plus for someone who's running for the, for the White House. Melly has all kinds of op problems in that she's the ex-wife. Um, running, running again, so that's a difficulty for her. And we have to find out who else is running. Yeah. We are in the middle, of course, of a presidential race in, in real, real life. life and on the show. And this thing on scandal. How yeah. has that been for you, creating this story, telling this story in the middle of what you're watching on the news every night? It's really fun. I mean, we don't create it, the writers create it. So it's wonderful that what Shonda and the other scandal writers are doing is so relevant and so exciting and I hope that it actually makes people even more interested in what's going on in real life so that we all participate at the level that we need to. What would you say is the biggest similarity between these two races as they stand? They're surreal. Yes. They're implausible. Uh -huh. If you put them in fiction you don't believe them and then when you watch CNN at night or something you don't believe it. Yeah, right? Yeah, so I, I, I just think the, the amazing commonality. What would you say is the biggest similarity between the two races right now? They're both super crazy. <laughs> Over the top, right? Yeah. You never know what to expect. Sure. <laughs> one's fake and one's real. <laughs> and it could easily be the other way around. <laughs> no comment. If you had to give a real life candidate that Melly would have the toughest time up against right now, is there anyone that you'd pick? Um, I'd probably pick Hillary. She's yeah. smart, she's strong, she knows what she wants. Yeah, she'd make a great president, so yeah, I'd probably pick Hillary. Yeah.